Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My name is Emilio and today I'm gonna show you how you can start using the onion skin in Krita. So first of all, let's uh, go and create a new file and create a new file. Okay, so I have my document open and now I want to start animating, but I don't have the animation workspace. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to window and then go to workspace and click animation that way we are going to get the animation timeline and the onion skin in case you don't have that go to settings and then go to dockers here you will find animation timeline so if you don't have the animation timeline go here and click over here and if you don't have the onion skin then just click here in onion skin okay so make sure you have that and now I'm gonna start creating an animation. So I'm just gonna create a ball bouncing side to side. So I'm gonna create a ball and I'm gonna create a frame. And if you already have the drawing, create a duplicate frame. If you don't have any drawing, just create a blank frame. So that way, if I create a blank frame, I'm just gonna start with a blank uh, frame and I can just start drawing. So in this case, I already have my ball over here and then I'm gonna start moving my ball to make it bounce from side to side. And this is the problem without the onion skin. If I don't use the onion skin, I don't know where my previous drawing was. So I can't see if it's in the correct position or if it's in the wrong position. So the first thing I have to do is, so go over here and click on the light bulb over here. And boom, now we have like my previous drawing, it's in red and my actual drawing, like the one in frame three is this one. So if I make a drawing in frame number five, I will have now three drawings, right? So if I go to frame number three, I have my black drawing that is the one in this frame, okay? And I actually, I can't move the blue or the red one. So it's the drawing in this frame and the blue one is the drawing that is after so that will be uh, frame number five that will be this drawing okay and the red one is the previous drawing okay so this way we can see our previous and our next drawings and that way it's gonna be way easier to animate and know my position the right position where i need to draw or when i need to move my objects so i'm just gonna continue to finish this ball and i'm gonna show you some other things that you can do with the onion skin Now I have my ball bouncing and I have some uh, parts of the animation that need to be fixed. So I'm going to show you how I can fix it and how you can keep using the onion skin. So basically I have my bounce, I like it, everything looking good, but here it's not stretching or squashing. So I want to stretch it just like before, but I don't want it to be super stretchy. So I'm going to compare with the previous frames, okay? So I'm gonna go over here. Okay, and this is where I want the ball to stretch. So if I want to see this frame, and I don't wanna see this because it can be confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my onion skin window. I'm gonna put my frame zero, that is the black one, okay? And then I'm gonna lower these ones. I don't want this to be super strong because I want to focus on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna just lower these, okay guys? And I'm gonna put this one up. And as you can see, now I'm 10 frames uh, behind. I can see my drawing 10 frames uh, before. So this way I can like at least compare maybe this one. I don't want it to be bigger than that drawing. So I'm gonna leave it like that, okay? And there you go. That way you can see this frame and you don't get distracted with all these uh, drawings. And maybe in this example, it's not so obvious that you need to do it, but imagine just being with these frames. So it can be pretty confusing here because we don't know maybe which one is which. So we need to select the one that we want and then we can just lower the other ones and then we can just focus on that drawing, okay? So this is a good way to use the onion skin and something you can do with uh, this tool and you can also do the same with the 
the drawings that go after so you can also lower the drawings and then just go to the last ones and there you go you see like this is the last drawing I have so there you go you can see this one and then you don't get distracted with this one so play around with this and obviously move it depending on what you need and what you're working on another thing that you can do is you can uh, make the tint uh, you just basically if you move this you play with the saturation of the of the drawings so it will depend obviously on what you have and what you're working on but I like to have the tints up it's uh, pretty good but yeah just play around and depending on what you're working on it might be better to lower the tint or make it uh, darker and also if you don't like red or blue you can come over here and change the color of your previous frames and there you go you have it green and the next frame you can have them orange or any color that you want So another thing I want to show you about the onion skin is that it works based on the layer. So if you have this layer over here and you turn it on, then you're going to see the outline. Uh, you're going to see the drawings before and after. But as you can see, I don't know. I, I can't see the color, right? So what I have to do is I got to go to the paint layer over here, the number three. And I'm going to click on the light bulb and boom. Now I can see the colors of my ball. So that is a really good way to uh, know where you paint or what you painted. And if you don't want to see the outline, just click the, the light bulb again. And there you go. The outline is going to disappear. And now you can see uh, just the painting of the ball. There you go. And this, guys, is how you use the onion skinning. And I hope you enjoy this video and learn something new. And now you can start animating and playing around with Krita. So I hope you like this video. And if you like it, if you learned something, just give it a click. Give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.